Hey everybody, Mike Rogers here, American Patriot Biker. It's been a while since I posted a video and did any uh, kind of how-tos or riding videos or anything like that, but you know, the season's fixing to be upon us. Um, if you guys didn't know, it's been, I don't know, a month and a half, couple months, I got COVID, not real bad, literally less than a week and I was over it. Um, got a negative test back after I was done. Um, but while I was off and had quarantine at home, I got better and still had to quarantine. Ended up watching the Harley Davidson reveal for the 21s, seen a Road Glide special that I really liked, ended up going and test riding it and didn't like it, ended up with a 20 Road Glide Limited. So now I've got some accessories I'm gonna put on um, and I'm going to do some videos of that today. Um, we're actually going to start. I got a long ride shield windshield like I had on my other road glide. And I'm going to do a video of it right now, putting it on. second long ride shield that I have had um, the first one I had on my 18 row glide standard um, loved it perfect height for me I'm 511 um, was perfect for me on that side of it um, so I ordered another one exactly like that one to put on this bike um, coming a box bubble wrapped all up I took the bubble wrap off already and then I have the shield in my hand so I'm going to put it on here we go. This windshield is actually pretty easy to come off. It's gonna have four bolts, one right here, one right here, one on this side, and one on this side. Um, because of the limited, it already has a metal piece here that holds that windshield in compared to a, my standard didn't have that. It just was the bolts right in there, but because of it being a limited, it has that extra decorative piece right there. Makes it super easy. Four bolts off, four bolts on. Um, I'm just going to go through it real quick. It's just the Allen head on the bolts. sensitive stuff like this I don't like to uh, use a gun or anything I'd rather hand do it to make sure that I don't over torque it because it actually says over there to uh, not torque it over the new windshield says it on there I'll have to look at it how much to torque it don't have to take these off all the way it's got slots in it where it'll just slide right out of there I might not take this one off all the way we'll just pull it right off there bounce it right off I don't know which is the way it slides slides forward there we go I hate the clear windshield so that's why I'm going with a dark one all right, I have the plastic off of it. Whoop, going the wrong way on the video. This one has an LSR right there. Um, I know there are other ones out there like Clockworks, Freedom Shields, all that. You know, it's just personal preference. Like I said, I've had this one for a few years on my other bike. Um, I really liked it. it, it held up good. I know it's good quality and I got it at a pretty good price. They had it on sale. I actually got it for a hundred bucks. Um, on the sale so I just went back with what I know and like I said it's personal preference all the other ones are good good windshields too just depending on what you want as I said a while ago it actually has it on there and it says I don't know if you can read it whoop, 
right there. Do not over tighten screws. Torque 25 to 30 inch pounds. So I hope if you don't have a torque wrench, just kind of guess. If you do, I guess you can go by spec. Um, on this one also, it doesn't have the slots on the bottom, so you do have to take the um, metal piece off, which I didn't do on the other side, so I'll have to do that real quick to put the new one on. They tell you in a lot of videos to uh, not take the plastic, protective plastic off of it. Actually try to fit it on there and mount it first to make sure it's a windshield that you want. But I'm going to go ahead and do that because this is the exact windshield that I had before on my other road glide. So I know it's exactly the one I want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic on it and go ahead and mount it. All right, here we go. I'm going to put this thing back on here. Try to attempt to anyway. Make it fit right. So we're going to sit it down. Got too many tools in my hand. Too much stuff. All right. So we got it sitting up there where I can get them started anyway. You will have to kind of push down on it once you get it going. I'm going to hand start them. That way I know I don't get it cross threaded. That side started real quick. I really didn't want to go in there very nice. puppies down not all the way I'm just going to get them a little tighter than they are so I can make sure it holds that when I get ready to do the other side Like I said, it says to torque them down. I wouldn't over torque it because it'll break those things in the back there. Alright, I 
it's fitting right there perfect on the end. It's fitting right there perfect on that end. So it is on there and it definitely changes the look of it automatically right off the bat. Like I said, personal preference, whatever you guys decide to do, long ride shield, clockworks, freedom shield, you know, and there's some more out there that I don't even know about, but it's just personal preference. And that's the end of it. Installation's done. It already changed the look of my bike. And this is the dark tint on the long ride shield. They have a medium tint and the clear, but I went with the dark because I actually, my eyesight looks right over the top of it, but it's got a little swoosh right here that pushes that air up. So I don't have any problems with bugs usually. Once in a while a bug will get through there, but most of the time that wind's pushing right up over my head and I'm 5'11 and this is a 12 inch shield. All right, that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up for this. Everybody, Mike Rogers, American Patriot Biker. If you like my videos, please like, share, comment, um, do all the stuff. I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, and I am on Instagram, American Patriot Biker. Look me up, hit subscribe and like, and share. I appreciate it, thank you.